enrolling new devices to your business can be a time-consuming process. However, using Samsung Knox Mobile Enrollment with Hexnode MDM allows you to bulk enroll corporate-owned Android devices quickly and efficiently. Before enrolling your devices into Hexnode using KME, make sure that you have a Samsung account and a Knox Portal account. To create a Samsung account, go to the Samsung Account Creation page. Click on Sign Up Now, agree the terms and conditions, enter your details, and click Next, Done. Activate your Samsung account by following the link sent to the email address you have provided. Now, creating a Knox Portal account. Go to the Knox Mobile Enrollment page, click on Apply Now, enter basic information, end user support information, verification information, and go through the terms and conditions. Click on Apply when you are done. A confirmation mail will be sent. Click on Complete Registration to continue. Enter and confirm your Knox Portal password. Go to Knox Portal Dashboard, My Solutions, Knox Mobile Enrollment, Launch. A setup wizard launches to assist you with setting up MDM server resources, creating your first enrollment profile, and registering resellers when you log in for the first time. Once your company is successfully registered, you can proceed with enrolling devices into your KME portal. There are two steps by which you can complete the device enrollment. First, create MDM profiles for the devices. Then add devices to the portal and assign profiles to the devices. Creating an MDM profile. To create an MDM profile, go to the Knox Portal dashboard, My Knox Solutions, Knox Mobile Enrollment, Launch Console. This is your Knox Mobile Enrollment Console. By clicking on each sub-tab in the left-hand navigation menu, you can see the list of enrolled devices, MDM profiles, registered resellers, and device users. This activity log provides a brief summary of the recent events with description and details. Click on the MDM Profiles sub-tab to create a new profile. Click on this Action button and select Add. Now enter the MDM Server URI, which is the address of your MDM server in the form of a URL. When entering the MDM Server URI, no need to enter HTTPS as we are already appending it from our side. Now click Continue and define your device settings. Enter an appropriate name for your profile. Provide a description, which is optional. Under MDM Agent APK, provide downloadable links of one or more MDM applications which the device would be enrolled to. These applications will be downloaded and installed on the device when it first connects to a Wi-Fi network. Click on Add MDM Applications and provide a URL to the APK that will be downloaded to your devices. You can add more than one MDM applications. If more than one APK is added, you must set one as primary to choose which APK manages Knox on the device. When an APK is added, you'll be having an option to enable the app as a Google device owner. Please note that only devices with Knox 2.8 or above can be enrolled as device owner and that the MDM should support Google device owner provisioning, which Hexnode will definitely do. If this option is checked, you have to select a supported MDM. Choose Other for Hexnode. Select this Leave All System Apps Enabled checkbox to ensure that all apps are enabled and available to the device owner supported profile. Skip Setup Wizard. This option will be checked by default. When checked, the user can skip many Setup Wizard screens and make the enrollment much faster. Now allow end user to cancel enrollment. Unchecking this option will make device enrollment mandatory. However, when the Google Device Owner option is selected, Setup Wizard skipping is required and end users are not allowed to cancel the enrollment. Define the custom configuration type in this column for custom JSON data. MDM configurations can be passed using the JSON, i.e. JavaScript object notification format. 
Hexno doesn't support this for now. You can add any license agreement, terms of service, or other user agreements that the user should acknowledge here. Click on Add Legal Agreement, enter the agreement title and text, and add. The Knox Privacy Policy, or Knox Workspace Terms and Conditions, will always be shown. You can also associate a Knox license with the profile to pass it directly to the intended device. Click on Save when you are done. The profile you have just created will be displayed under MDM Profiles. You can select the profile and edit or delete it from any time from Actions. Adding devices to your portal. There are two options by which devices can be added to your Knox portal based on whether the device is purchased from an approved Samsung reseller or not. Note that only Samsung Knox devices running Knox version 2.4 or higher can be enrolled via KME. For reseller devices, reseller uploads a list of IMEI numbers and serial numbers to the reseller portal, which is shared between your KME portal. To register your reseller, go to Resellers, Action, Register Reseller. Contact the reseller to obtain their Knox reseller ID and enter the ID here. Look up and select your reseller from the list. You can set up a default profile to be automatically assigned to the devices purchased from that reseller. You can select whether approval is needed for each upload from the reseller or choose automatic approval for trusted resellers. As soon as the reseller uploads the devices, you will be notified via email. You now have to approve if you have chosen approval needed for each upload. Now your devices will be listed under Uploads and are ready for enrollment and configuration. If you haven't selected a default profile to be associated with the devices, you can assign an MDM profile to the devices at a later time. Check all the devices you need to configure. Action. Configure. A device details screen pops up. Select the required MDM profile from the list. You can add tags, user ID and password if needed, and save. Click on Refresh and the device status changes to Profile Assigned. Now, to enroll devices not purchased from an approved reseller, there is a Knox deployment application. Only Samsung Knox devices running Knox 2.7.1 or higher can be enrolled thus. Download the Knox deployment application from the Google Play Store on any compatible device. Launch the app and sign in using the Knox Portal username and password. When you log in for the first time, a welcome screen will be displayed for assisting you. Click on Profile. All profiles will be listed, or you can select Knox Mobile Enrollment Profiles in particular. Choose the profile you want to associate with your devices. Now choose a deployment mode. Here you can select either Bluetooth or NFC. If Bluetooth is selected, you have to set the Bluetooth duration, which is 30 minutes by default, and check the Accept Automatically option to automatically accept pairing requests from devices to be enrolled. Click OK, Start Deployment. Open me.samsungnox.com on the designated phone or tablet running Samsung Knox 2.7.1 or above to begin the profile assignment. Follow the on-screen instructions and enroll the device. Click on Finish Deployment from the app. The device will be listed in the Knox portal with the tag Bluetooth. For NFC deployment, select the deployment mode as NFC and start deployment. Turn on NFC and Android Beam in device settings. 
Hold the admin phone and the phone to be enrolled back to back and tap your screen. Make sure that both the devices are NFC enabled and compatible. Select Finish Deployment once you are done. By configuring this Wi-Fi for deployed devices, you can send a network configuration to the device so that it can connect the network. Type in the password and click OK. This will work only with gesture-based deployment on devices running Knox 3.2. Only Galaxy Note 9 and Tab S4 support this new deployment, which bypasses the setup wizard and starts the out-of-box deployment directly with a simple plus sign gesture on the target device's welcome screen. Adding device users to your portal. To add a new user, click on Device Users, Action, Add User, enter user ID and password, Add. You can edit the user details later using the Edit option under Action. There is also an option to remove existing users under Action. With the Import action, you can upload a group of user credentials to assign them to your devices in the future.